Good, Good morning, morning Colonel, Colonel Bai. Bai. It's Thursday, May 7th. I'm Keisha. And I'm Jeremy. And, and here, here are, are your, your morning, morning announcements. announcements. This week is a tribute to all frontline workers fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic. Summer school registration for OCDSB summer e-learning courses will be available starting Monday, May 4th. In class or face to face, summer school will not be offered this year. If you are interested in registering for e learning summer school, the registration form will be available on the Colonel By Secondary School homepage under School News. Registration closes on June 12th. This summer, new courses will be offered. The course codes are listed below. If you have any questions or concerns, please email your guidance counselor. Evan Murphy is a former Cougar Vision student who now works for the Raptors and Maple Leafs. We've sent Kyle to interview him about his experience with these national teams. ACB, today I'm here with Evan Murphy, a former Colonel By alumni, and uh, now he works currently in the media field. So Evan, I just have a few questions for you today, and my first one being, how was your time at TB and the, how was the Cougar Vision program? I loved my time at Colonel Bly. Throughout, uh, through my time there, like um, I went for the full, uh, you know, grade nine, grade 12, and I always wanted to do Cougar Vision. And like, uh, I lived just at, just uh, like uh, in Orleans near Bolingbrook. And at the time, Colonel Bly was kind of accepting students from that area, but, um, like I really loved it so well. Like I wanted to do Cougar Vision. Like I found out about it through visiting, doing those uh, school visits in grade eight. And throughout my time at Colonel Bay, I was always like, "Yeah, I want to do that." And but and uh, I really didn't know what I wanted to do that past that. I was a pretty uh, uh, pretty average student in everything in every other subject, and I didn't uh, you know nothing really grabbed me. And then when I got to Cougar Vision, it was like you know, a light turned on. I was like, oh, oh, okay, this, this is awesome. Yeah, it's like, this is awesome. Like, I can make pretend and make a living. Like, this is possible. Like, I thought that, like, uh, I thought that it was going to be uh, kind of like a, just a fun course for me, like, you know, hang out with my friends, like, just, you know, kind of, uh, you know, like, have a good high school memory. And then I'd go on and figure out what I wanted to do. But you know, like the uh, like editing, it really grabbed me. And I was like, oh, this is unreal and it's possible. So, uh, no, I, I fully credit Cougar Vision for uh, putting me on like the, uh, you know, the path that I'm currently on. Because without it, like I have no idea where I'd be. And, um, now, what do you do like in terms of media? Like so I am a... Uh, video editor for uh, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, okay. and so I work for the uh, I work for the I mostly do work for the Maple Leafs, but I've you know I've covered uh, the Toronto Raptors, Toronto FC, their uh, what's it called their affiliate teams, so the Toronto Marlies and the Raptors 905, yeah. TFC yeah, two, yeah. yeah, so. Uh, yeah, and I've been there since um, August of 2013. So uh, coming up oh, on seven, seven years. Yeah, coming up on seven years, I've been with uh, MLS team. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, great. it was the best. Yeah, no, and I got my, uh, I got a, uh, I got a ring out of it. Uh, yeah, it's probably that backwards, but awesome. I have my name engraved. But, yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, they gave us, uh, they gave us rings with, uh, with our uh, with our names and great homes. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. No, it's, the, it's, the, it's the coolest thing I'll ever own, 100%. Yeah, that was basically everything. Thank you once again for the opportunity allowing me to interview you. Attention grade 12s, are you pursuing a post-secondary program related to the environment at a Canadian university or college next year? Friends of Mer Bleu is offering a $2,000 scholarship for an eligible student from our school. Please email Ms. Badry in guidance for an application form. The application is due to Ms. Badry by Monday, May 11th at 3 p.m. Graphic Design and Photography Club is a great place to learn new technological and artistic skills. Let's go check it out.
Want to handle a camera but don't have the equipment and the skills to? Looked at the design and was inspired to create something similar? Then you should try Graphic Design and Photography Club. Our Graphic Design half focuses on how to use Illustrator, creating logos, posters, and more for other clubs and organizations. Our Photography half is very hands-on and focuses on different techniques to capture the best photos. We have many plans in store, such as Graphic Design workshops, Photography expositions, and trips. Our club hands you all the equipment you need, so just be yourself. If you're creative, want to have fun, hope to be inspired, or just want to try something new, join G. PC, graphic Design and Photography Club next year. Applications for the SET Ottawa 2020 Executive Team are now open. SET, Students in Engineering and Technology, is a non-profit student-run organization that seeks to incite an interest in engineering and technological career opportunities in youth. As a SET executive, you will work with a team of highly motivated individuals to organize the 2020 SET Ottawa Conference. If you or a friend demonstrates great initiative, a thirst for engineering and knowledge, and want to join a network of exceptional future technological professionals, we encourage you to apply. The application can be found at the form linked below. To learn about which roles are available, refer to the application package, which is also linked below. The deadline to apply is Friday, May 8th at 11.59 p.m. If you have any questions, please contact SET at ottawa.set at gmail.com. They look forward to meeting you. Here at Cougar Vision, we want to show our gratitude, respect, and admiration for our frontline healthcare workers. Here is a tribute video dedicated to them. Resumed case of COVID-19 in Canada. Of people infected with COVID-19. COVID-19 is rapidly spreading across the world. COVID-19 outbreak. The COVID-19 pandemic brought about unprecedented pain and suffering. Its reach has been widespread and is affecting the lives of everyone in Canada and around the world. When the world was at its lowest and on its knees, hope came in the form of all of our frontline workers who donned on the mask and put themselves in harm's way to help out the local, national, and global community. To the doctors, nurses, and paramedics that work so tirelessly to help those affected by the pandemic and in need of care that their faces are bloodied by the imprints of their masks. To the cashiers, delivery people, and clerks that keep our stores, restaurants, and banks functional. To the police, firefighters, and bylaw officers to ensure order is kept in this time of distress. Thank you. Our appreciation cannot be overstated. To everyone staying at home, please continue to practice social distancing and proper hygiene to keep yourself as well as everyone around you safe. On behalf of everyone staying at home and social distancing, everyone here at OCDSB would like to show our appreciation for all that you've put on the line for us, for our country, Words cannot describe the gratitude we have for the tireless efforts that have been put into place to keep our country running and moving towards an end to the pandemic. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Our prayers go out to you. Don't forget to check your school email, manage back, and Google Classroom every day. And reach out to your teachers if you have any questions. Well, that's all from us today, CB. Have, have a, a thank-worthy thank Thursday. Thursday.